and it's a must see. Um, it's just shocking, basically. You're not going to believe what I've just noticed. Why is that? And in you watch the spectacle. <laughs> Anna, there's something here for everyone. You've got that. I've got that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Anna. We run a wedding business from Ed's family's 15th century chateau near Bordeaux. On this channel, you'll get to see what our life is like while discovering Bordeaux, surrounding area, and what the wine world has to offer. Where are we off to? Today we're going to whip into Bordeaux. Um, Mum Babby have just left, so Charles and Emma are a bit sad about them going. Uh, so we're going to nip into Bordeaux and we're going to go to the antique fair in Bordeaux. But Anna, don't get excited. Why? Because we haven't got the money to buy anything, so we're not <laughs> buying anything. We're just going to go looking, okay? Window shopping. Window shopping. Promise? I promise. I will behave. Hey boo boo! And Charles has a little birthday party this afternoon for a friend from school. What's her name, Charles? Mano. Mano. A little teddy here. Let's go. Have you seen the table, Ed? Yeah, <coughs> it's pretty similar to the one that we have in Ville now. A little bit smaller. It's bit beautiful, it looks in perfect condition. Yeah. And I love that they've put a piece of glass on top of it to protect it. Yeah. And we can see the price here, 1200 euros. Yeah. See, it's worth doing ours up. This, this one has the same problem as ours. I think it's had a little bit of woodworm in, in one of the legs, just like ours. 
beautiful, isn't it? It's just, was it the Bordeaux? Bordeaux et Blaye. Oh, Bordeaux et Blaye, d'accord. So the gentleman is from Bordeaux and the lady is from Blaye, which is not too far from Bordeaux. 50 kilometers. 50 kilometers. And there's a stunning chandelier. C'est magnifique, ça. C'est quelle époque? C'est 19e. 19th century. Et le prix, si ça ne dérange pas? Vous avez ça? Celui-ci, on, on doit être dans les 2009, quelque chose comme ça. 2900. 2900 years for this beauty. It is stunning. All uh, cleaned, mm -hmm. re-electrified, completed. Amazing. That is really nice. Okay. There's, there's one round here, probably a bit more expensive. In the right place, it would be stunning. I don't know, I don't know where the right place is though, because look wow, at it. Wow, that is very ornate. Is that, is that Italian? It is Italian, from Murano. Murano. Oh, Murano. Okay. So let's have, a little bit of a let's have a little bit of a game with every, everyone, yeah. What, what do you think a Murano chandelier like this costs? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Oh, I mean, this stand here has amazing pieces. I even love this. So come back for this one and have a good shot on that one for everybody to try and figure out how much it's worth. No. I think I can. What about you? Oh, look at these lumps. There's so many beautiful pieces here. This is definitely, and this painting here. Wow. It gets from better to better. This is my favorite stand. They've even got a mirror. You know how we love mirrors. Yes. <laughs> we have far too many mirrors. No, you can never have too many mirrors or too many chandeliers. I don't know how much that one is, but it's lovely. I mean, even the long. I mean, the, everything is special here. This little painting here, it's very well done. I don't know if that'll come across on there. Oh, it does. It's looking amazing. I bet Bill is going to say, Anna, how much was it? Quel est le prix de celui-là, monsieur? La Vierge Marie. Est-ce que j'ai marqué le prix derrière? Ah, désolé, je ne me permets pas de... C'est Italie 19e aussi. 19th century from Italy. On a 2009. 2,900 euros and you oil on canvas? Yes, oil on canvas, no restoration. So it's, uh, it's perfect. Wow. wow, perfect. It's beautiful. Even the frame is something else. I mean, everything is spectacular. Et les deux lampes là? Ça là? Euh, non, c'est là ici. Celles-là, elles sont magnifiques. En plus, ça, je vois le prix. Mais en fait, tout est d'époque. Ça, c'est art déco ou... euh, Ça, c'est des créations de Burano. Des créations ah. contemporaines. Ah. Ça, c'est des pièces uniques. Ça, c'est des créations contemporaines. So, new creation, so contemporary, and then unique pieces. So, it's just a pair. And it's Unical a pieces. Unical pieces, no more. Yeah, these are the Just only one ones. Uh, uh, example. And how much is it? 2000. 2000 for the oui. pair. Wow. Oh, so look at this trimmer here, which is, I mean, stunning. The, I think this is the, the place to come and browse for antiques and admire them because that's what we're doing. I was just admiring the beauty. Wow. And this on top of the mantelpiece, oh my goodness. And we have the price here, 1400 euros. <laughs> This has been sold like a little, I would say, like a bar cabinet. Well, if they've seen something, something, if they've seen something they just can't do without, mm -hmm. it's called Pipat Bly. So it's Bly. Mm -hmm. 
Anna, I'm not so sure this was a good idea bringing the kids. <laughs> Charles has just asked for an antique car. Oh, come on, Daddy, I want a car to play with. And I'm like, uh uh. Something beautiful about France, like a din like they're having lunch all together. Oh, my no, so What have you seen, Charles? Oh, Spider-Man! Can I? What do you think, Daddy? Or is it... Well, you do you have a Spider-Man, Charles. Yeah, oh. You ain't gonna do much with that Spider-Man toy, it doesn't move. And, uh, oh, there's these trades that I love. Can I ask the price? Anna? We yes. said, no buying. I know, but we've got two already. I know the price. I've just seen the price. Oh, what's the point of yours? There's Ed here chatting away. I've stumbled across the guy who is going to renovate all of our uh, Napoleon III furniture that's at Villeneuve. Mm -hmm. This is his card, and this is his stand. And I like that it's called Atelier Napoleon III. Wait for it though, Anna. These pieces are exceptional pieces. Oh my pieces. goodness. I can see some... Um, I mean, I don't know what I love the most here. Whether it's the cabinet with the drinks and the glasses. Or whether it's this table here. At 5,600. I mean, look at this. The detailing. Do you like it, Charles? Uh, a bit. A bit? <laughs> I think I see something here that you might like. This one here, the cards game. Oh, my favorite game. Wow. Mother of Pearl. Oh, beautiful. But, you know, we can't buy it. You know, because it's very expensive, but we can admire it. We can just admire it, that's it. Do you like it? Yes. It's beautiful. Wow, look at all of this, Charles. Wow. Hey, look, baby gloves. Yes, it's baby gloves. Oh, those are beautiful. Okay. Let's have a look at this one because it's a bit simpler. Oh wow! Six hundred and ninety euros. Okay, that's not too bad. Yo, yo, oh, look at the candlestick holders. Okay. And look Three hundred and sixty euros a pair. I, I bought mm. like twenty for a hundred. Yeah, it's not the same price, but these are amazing. Look at this, Charles. Yeah, I tried to so show you. Oh, it's beautiful. What Thank is you. This? But that's for writing. It's uh, but which like way? This way? Yes, this way. So you put your ink in one of them and then you dab it on the other one and that's it. You can write. Do you like that? Can I can try right? We can't try it, but we can admire it. Oh, well, what to we only try it if we're buying it, okay? I'm just gonna pretend. Okay. No, we don't do writing, we just look at it. Hi. Look at this. <gasps> 658. But it is so well, beautiful. What are these? <laughs> it's for playing. Anna? Yes? You're not going to believe what I've just noticed. Yeah. No. Yeah. This. We have the same one. Exactly the same, apart from one thing. A little bronze down the bottom here. I think I'll just go straight. Wow. But it's the same design everywhere. Wow, that is beautiful. And, okay, this is this has had a lot of work done to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we wanted to get ours to this condition, it's going to cost quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. But then again, what is the price? Four thousand two hundred euros. This is stunning. Mm -hmm. What was? And then Charles wanted to show me something, Daddy. Eight hundred ninety. That is beautiful, Charles. And you forgot. And this one. That is really really nice. Two thousand one hundred. And those as well. Aww. 
I really those were for perfumes, Bonnie. Back in the day, he used to have the, the perfume. And gold. They are beautiful. Oh, look at this set here. Look at the little set. Okay. So cute. The you have the city and the two chairs fully restored. Beautiful. Et quel est le prix de, de l'ensemble On est à 950. Salon complet, restauré. Mm -hmm. Vous pouvez vous asseoir dedans, le gamin peut s'asseoir. Charles, tu veux vous asseoir Please. So test, we show everyone. Test test my, uh, my chair. Let's test. Oh, that's voilà. adorable. Very nice. <laughs> so I think 950 euros. La hobby is the shield, the child is uh, 2000. <laughs> <laughs> the price has gone up. <laughs> this is beautiful. And the material too. This is so nice. C'est super joli. Et c'est quoi cette beauté là? C'est un meuble euh, époque Napoléon III. So Napoléon III. Ok. Mais fabriqué en Allemagne ou en Autriche. Ah, so it, it was made either in Austria or in Germany. And it's all... I don't, voilà, merci. Yeah, I didn't want to dare to open it because I don't want to scratch it or anything, but it's stunning. And all the detailing, wow. Nacre et laiton. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, nacre, c'est mother of mother. Earth. Oui. And then... Uh, and brass. Brass, wow. And uh, precious wood, mm -hmm. bois de rose. Mm -hmm. So rosewood. Palissandre de Santos. I don't know how to say that in English, but it's palissandre de Santos. It's, it's another the special wood. Is, well, it's exotic wood. Exotic wood, yeah. Wow. It is stunning. And this piece here is at 4,200. The oh. price is, uh, voilà. Yes, 4,200, we have the price here. It is amazing. Voilà. You know what I was thinking actually, for anybody around the world that, that likes some of this stuff. Charles? These, these little, oh. these little kind good. of... Drinks what, cabinets. Drinks cabinets and things. They're the kind of things that ship quite well. Yes, so if anyone wanted to buy anything, it's... Atelier Napoleon III, and the gentleman is called Thierry Lambin. I don't know what the nice lady is called. Evangeline. Evangeline. So yeah, they, these guys, I mean, they have amazing pieces. So check them out and look at this. I mean, even the writing desk, I just saw this. You can just imagine this on top of a desk. Hello. Et beaucoup de meubles ici sont estampillés. Ah. Et ce sont les fournisseurs officiels de Napoléon III à l'époque. So all, uh, pretty much all the pieces here, they Charles have enough, the please. official signature of the of the maker of who made them, and they were the ones. C'est la maison Vervel. Mm -hmm. Vervel. So it's the Vervel, uh, pretty much house. France, France, France. It's yes, a France. surname. Mm -hmm. France. Okay, it's on size yeah, big, uh, big signature. Mm -hmm. And you have, uh, wow, for, so example, they for example, the official Tain. Tain. So they are the official uh, makers of that made pretty much everything for Napoleon the Third. And, and this one is very small, but you have Diel. Diel. Okay, so Some another. French people say Diel, but it's the yeah. same. It's a very uh, important uh, wood so, maker. Mm -hmm. 1400 this one. I mean, they're all the official, yes, that, I mean, this the artisans. This is a artisans. desk for travel. Oh, a travel desk. For Beautiful. A travel desk. The signature is like uh, a certification yes. from the, the age. From each house, right. wow, from each designer. Beautiful. Yeah. C'est super. And this one. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. <laughs> It says big vanity. Ladies, ladies, it's for, <laughs> for you. For your I hair. I love it, I love it. Okay, let, let's. It's beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh, okay. Now I want this. <laughs> okay, I take your paper. It's for you. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, ah, that's, that's okay. We need to find out. Yeah, these children, they closed their ears. Oh, the car. Oh, I think I can find that one out. What is that one? Uh, uh, I, I, I do the situation. Huh? <laughs> okay, it's, okay. It's for men. It's for when, men. When we want, we want to see some l uh, nice ladies Show. without uh, clothes. <laughs> he sit down on this chair like that, and <laughs> in he watch the spectacle. <laughs> he watch the 
show. Only close or man. Home, home. It could be nice man. Yeah. There could be ladies out there watching. <laughs> but it's, it's good for ladies if she, they want to see man. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no yes. problem. Huh? Okay, on est. Charles, on est watching. Charles, on est. Very good, man. Your man. <laughs> Oh, not expensive, it's, it's, it's new, but it's 450 refait, quoi, complètement avec un tissu neuf. Je préfère quand même le petit caviar. Ah, I, oui, I prefer, oui, I think, oui, oui. I found the favorite, my favorite piece is that local. Anna, there's something here for everyone, you've got that, I've got that. <laughs> okay, that will do. Uh, yeah, I did love that van, it's magnifique. You have a cachette for cigar. Oh, so the cig. Oh, that's the for hiding the cigars. Oui, cachette. Wow. Oh, j'adore. That is amazing. There's so many. I mean, is that? Oh, ça c'est joli. Is that for jewelry? Ah, this one. Ah, oh. 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 It's a uh, very complete. For the so ladies during the travel. Wow. Je, je ah, me you can. <gasps> Look at this <laughs> with perfume. Oh my goodness! And then for like, like a vanity case for the you your nails. You're gonna have brush somewhere. Oh no! Oh, everything. It's with. Uh, is oh. it? L no. Uh, ivory? No. Yeah, not the ivory. Yes. <laughs> we'll be back. Found something for mommy. And here they call it a minodia, which is a little purse, just for like for when you. No, okay. You've got too many bags already, Anna. Okay. Oh, there was something that goes with it. Oh. Alors, ça. Alors en français parce que c'est plus facile. C'est en écaille de tortue blonde. Okay, so it's a turtle shell. Turtle shell. Blonde. So blonde. Avec des incrustations d'étoiles en laiton. So this Et de ce motif aussi, en laiton, fait à la main. Brass, brass. Brass. So everything's like brass inlay, Charles. Don't. Voilà. Et vous avez le petit crayon de papier tout neuf, hein, ça so n'a jamais. Euh, so it's all brand new, never been used. Voilà. Donc ça, c'est en pomponne, ciselé. Ah, pomponne, c'est de l'or sur du cuivre. Ah. So, oh gold my goodness, white. gold on pretty much. Voilà. On brass. Graphite yeah. pencil. Wow, so it's like. And it's new. Used. Never oh. used. And look at the Never used avec the avec the la date. With the date. 1856. Six. Oh. Voilà. Et le prix Et le prix c'est dans les 400 euros parce que c'est tout neuf, voilà, jamais it's servi. Okay, so when the ladies used to go down, they used to have <coughs> voilà. a little bag. Voilà, ça et and ça. And then this would be in the bag because voilà. the ladies would write the names of voilà. the gentlemen that would dance voilà. with them and then they would Record them or no, or voilà, we'll voilà. dance again or no. Et encore une fois, fabriqué par des fournisseurs prestigieux, Taran, comme le, le desk. So, pretty much made by uh, special prestigious artisans, like the desk we saw before, so Taran. Amazing. She, she must have been pretty picky if she didn't put any names in a book. <laughs> you mean that could have been my book? En revanche, <laughs> the lady, yeah. ça devait pas être la plus belle. <laughs> no! Oh! Voilà, elle n'a pas eu de prétendant. Yeah, maybe she didn't get anyone that wanted to dance with her. Or she didn't choose to have anyone to dance with her. It's too beautiful to be used, that's why. She kept it for a special man. Or she met him straight away and that voilà, was it. Voilà, voilà. Well, well, she finds the best in the first time. It's been a thank pleasure. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Uh, you know, yeah, that was amazing. We were due to do the whole fair, Anna. And you yeah, know what? No. Just because we got chatting to some people. No, because we found the really good stuff. It's yeah, we found the good stuff down this aisle. But there's another four aisles. We haven't got the time to do any more. I can't, we can't do more. So, but, but to be honest, it's, it's heartbreaking coming to a fair wanting to buy things. And not being, I mean, I would definitely have gotten that desk. Uh, I would have gotten that, those six chairs. They were amazing. So have you been won over by Napoleon III now? What do you mean? I always liked it. Yeah, but you never let me get any, did you? Because it's so expensive. I suppose so. There's one more thing to show you in a minute, but I think the, the takeaway for us is don't come to an antique fair if you can't spend any money <laughs> because we're just not enjoying it as much, are we, no, Anna? No, no, and I just, I'm still thinking about that desk. Hold on, Charles. Come have a look at this though. This is exceptional. 
bit roast something. I don't know what it is. It just might be lamb. Oh, are they cooking it there? Yeah. That does look great, but it's like 30 degrees out here. And I love what they've done with the olive tree. Okay. Look, two seconds. Oh yes, it's really cool. That is beautiful, Charles. It's real. The olive tree, and I think this could be a project that I would love for you to make. What do you think about that, Ed? I think it's great. Okay. Let's get going on that because it's just too painful to not buy anything. I thought you were going to say, okay, I'll do that for you, but fair enough. Well, I'll have, a, I'll have a think about doing that for you. Okay, I like that. I don't like it now. I like it maybe. Yeah, maybe, Anna. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell and put a comment. It really makes a difference for us, all those little bits. And, and like the video. Yeah, like the video, of course. Thumbs up. Um, just thought I'd let you guys know, on Friday, we have something exceptional that I haven't seen in 20 years of living in France. I've not seen, well, near, near on 20 years of living in France. I've not seen anything like this. It is exceptional and it's a must-see. Um, it's just shocking, basically. I'm going to leave it at that. See you Friday.